let's um let's talk a bit about now you as the nd i've interviewed a number of uh, uh, nds former i've uh, from uh, george gitau to ben omolo to uh, Belachu and even the founder mm. uh, uh, and you have been the longest serving because uh, mm, none has served that maybe uh, apart from a few that maybe I've not interviewed but you've been there since 2010 and, and we are now in 2020 those are those are uh, 10 years are there low moments and are there high moments and you can begin from whichever whether high or whether low at that times you've said okay is it really, you know, uh, necessary? You, know, you, you just feel like I want to go and, yeah. So, yeah. There, I mean, uh, in 10 years, yes. a lot can happen. Yes, that's um, for sure. So, there are things that have happened. Mm. Like, um, I think in 2018, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we, we lost one of our staff. Uh -huh. He was sick for some time, mm. just as we dolo. Mm. And um, he he then passed on, I think it was last year, I think mm. it was 2019. Mm. Um, and uh, you know, it was actually, yeah, it was 2018. So mm. I, I was there, you know, you're working with, with the person and you know, you the medical bills are running very high. Yeah. He's gone over the cover, mm. you know, it, and, and he's sick for an extended period of time. If you actually apply the human resource policy, yes. then uh, really the, the person would, would have no means mm. of support mm. even for their family. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to make important uh, decisions of we are compassion. Mm. You need to be compassionate to people you expect to show compassion. To show compassion, others. exactly. So, but it's not an easy call, mm. especially when you don't know how long it's going to take and it was becoming very expensive. Mm -hmm. And then then finally, he, he unfortunately, uh, he passed on. Mm. And then uh, I, I, I was just told, I called the wife. Mm. She couldn't even talk to me because mm. she was, I mean, it devastated. has just happened, oh. very devastated. Mm. And um, I, I'm then the one telling staff, breaking the news to staff. And mm. people, we have, it's someone we've known for a long time. Mm. People are breaking down, we are crying. Oh. Um, that that was that was uh, that was quite difficult. Mm. Um, there have been other issues, you know, mm. where I've had to let uh, some people go. Mm. Uh, people you you know well. Mm -hmm. You know, we are very relational organization. Yeah. Yes. So yes. I, there are people I meet many times. You are mm. having dinners. You having fun days. You mm. meet their families. You know their children. You know where they live. You even visited them in their homes. Mm. And. Um, um, some th things happen, people make choices, mm. and you have to, uh, you know, look at the bigger picture, picture. and make uh, the right calls. Mm. And of course, people misunderstand and all that, and it's, it's a difficult situation. Those, there have been those kind of moments. Mm. Um, there are other moments where, you know, I've been out there, you know, visiting and, you know, visiting the people we serve, yes. churches, homes. Yeah. And you find situations uh, that are really, really depressing, mm. and uh, you know you, you don't know how to walk away from yeah. some of those situations, and you don't even know what to do. Mm. It's beyond mm. your resources as an individual, yeah. yes. and as even uh, you know because part of the resources that we use is mm. <laughs> it's it's a lot of emotional. Mm. Th this ministry, this what we we do, mm. can be deeply emotional. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes you actually get depleted. Mm. You, that's and that, so your emotional resources are exhausted. Yes, uh, and you you you're in a very low moment mm. because some of the situation you see are very overwhelming, mm. and you wonder can there be any mm. hope in mm. this situation? Yeah, yeah. But um, that that's it's it's, it's life. Yes, that, and that's 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 the way things are. Mm. Um, there have been very some very uh, again very very good and encouraging moments. Yes. I remember one time I was coming from a trip mm. and um, <coughs> I, I was very tired. I was in a connecting flight. Yes. And I I was wearing, um, you know, a shirt mm. um, that had compassion logo on it. Yes. So I, I, I come and sit on my seat and I I am very sleepy and I t I'm tired. I yeah. want to sleep. Mm. Um, so, b but no sooner than had I sat on my seat. Yes. Uh, someone came who we happened to be sharing a seat, mm. who happened to be an alumnus. Wow. 
And I didn't know, I've never seen the person, no, no, and I didn't know the person, but mm. they saw the, the logo. Mm. And they said, oh, I'm so and so, you work for Compassion? Mm. And I said, yeah. So, <laughs> wow. and then they introduced themselves and, mm. you know, they were engineer working in, you know, and they were in a, in a foreign country, wow. and going back home. And, mm. and I'm like, oh, so what's your story? And you hear their story and it's some of those stories you've seen where you go and, and you're visiting places and mm. you're wondering, you know, this t situation is very depressing. Yes. You hear where they came from mm. and where they are today. Mm. And you're like, oh, this is good. This yes. is encouraging. This is actually what you do. Mm. So one of the privileges I've got now, having worked for about 16 years within mm. this ministry, yes. is that I've had to, I've been able to see like the beginning point, mm. you know, to, uh, the end the end and again not quite the end but mm. you know the exit point yes as they launch into you know into a, a, a time of release mm. and it, it's very encouraging so having been able to see the entire picture the, the entire life cycle of yeah. an individual from yeah. where they are starting and Up to their progression until yes. where they really are blossoming they, mm. are, they, are, they really bloom mm. and that's that's really encouraging wow. so you it, 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 and that's that's been a, a lot of joy. I yes. mean, especially like I've attended many graduations, mm. and you see the joy and the happiness on the family, on the supporters. Wow. You know, on 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 the many many people who have contributed because it takes a, a whole village, you mm. know, and a village meaning many many people, to yes. many hands on deck mm. to be able to get someone to where they really want to be. Wow. Um, that's that's really encouraging. So really, really is yeah. um, you know a point of like when you know. That sometimes they throw their hearts up, mm. you know, um, and and they are celebrating and yes. catching them back. Mm. It's 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 a it's a it's an important milestone mm. because it's telling you, hey, I'm from somewhere, yeah. and I'm here, and I'm ready to take on the world. Yes. Yeah. Um. You 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 spoke about uh, you know you almost spoke about that impact that uh, you know uh, the programs have, ha, ha, has the program has had on so many people. Mm. And Joel, I happen to have uh, gone with you to a place in Baringo, yeah. and uh, there is this uh, young man who was actually very violent. Um, this young man who was literally smoking uh, weed and, 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 and really the terrorizing the family and making, uh, making it very uncomfortable for the family. Yeah. And then this young man goes for a training mm -hmm. and he comes home and uh, starts implementing what, uh, you know, he has, um, he was trained just for a week. Yeah. And, and, and he's really changing the, 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 the life of the family. And actually one of the pastor, the pastor, the patron said that uh, he said he will get saved at some point. Mm. That he's not yet born again, but he will, he will give his life to Christ. So when you see such transformation happening, you know, what, you know, comes into your mind at such time when you hear, and not only hear, but see for yourself, indeed this is what's happening. It reminds me of uh, the essence of what we are about, mm. rebuilding lives. Yes. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of brokenness. Mm. Poverty is brokenness. Yeah. Um, it's things that are broken that need to be fixed. Mm. And, you know, coming together with the church, mm -hmm. um, you know, like th that was, a fo you know, part of our strategy is focusing on the church, mm. building the church, and as we work with the church so that they're able to work with the family. Yeah. Um, and... Because the family is really the crucible where children are yes. really developed and formed and, and launched. Mm. So I remember when uh, we were in that home, mm. it was really saying, this is what it is all about. Yeah. This, is, this is the core, this is the essence mm. of what we are about. Mm -hmm. You know, when you find a, that family was very dis dysfunctional. Yes. And then just um, the child registered in, in, our, in one in of our program. partnerships. Mm. Um, then, you know, the family being rich too, mm. and taking such a, a young person, you mm -hmm. know, a young family man mm. who had neglected his family, who he wasn't making much out of his life, mm. and just being taken for a one week farm school, yeah. you know, farm f training on, on, on agriculture mm. in a practical way in a farm. Yes. And then he comes and says, Hey, I can do this. And mm. you, you know, you remember when we went to his farm? Yes. It was actually, you even, sometimes you even wonder, mm. is this person really needed? Should this person be helped? Until mm. you trace back to where they came from. 
Yes. You know, and, and, and that's a good problem to actually be having, mm. where you find, and we've done quite a number of such, uh, when you've done, um, you know, small business uh, mm. startups for families and things like that. Yeah. And then people really thrive, mm. you know, whether it's savings groups, or whether it's um, improving their agriculture and things like that. Yes. Their food security situation, livelihood, their mm. family situation improves. Yes. And sometimes you wonder, should this, did we pick the wrong children? Yes. But until you trace back to the story where it all began, it began, that's when you realize, oh, okay. And, and then you know, that's okay. Mm. If we were to get to a place where we would have to say goodbye to some of those children, and yes. we have actually had to do, to do that, at yeah, some point, yeah. that's a good thing. Mm. Uh, so that then you can bring, bring in, in uh, more you, you, you give that opportunity to someone else yeah. who you then uh, have an opportunity to, to deal with the brokenness in mm. their lives. Mm. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, um, Compassion uh, International Kenya is uh, celebrating 40 years. Yeah. Um, um, for this financial year since 20, uh, you know, 19 uh, July. And this extends to 2020, this year, June. Um, why is it important, you know, for Compassion to celebrate the 40 years that we have been there, uh, you know, working to release children from poverty? Uh, for several reasons. Yes. One, I think it's uh, important to pause and, uh, you know, celebrate certain milestones. Mm, yes, yes. Because it's, it's a journey. We mm. are in a long, in a long game. Yes. Um, so it, it's good to stop at some point mm. and re and look back mm -hmm. at where we have come from. Yeah, one teach uh, you you draw important lessons from history. Exactly. You know, like when we've listened to some of um, the people who are there at the very beginning, mm. people like Lynette Waters, mm. and you hear how the it all started. Mm -hmm. What are the issues they are facing? Mm. And some of the you know, and you begin to see the fruit of the work that they did then. Yeah, and you ask yourself. Is it all about, you know, the beginnings are very important mm. because you don't have a lot. Yeah. It's not complex. Mm. It's very simple. Mm. So it helps you to reflect back on what is our essence. Yeah. So that's very important. Mm. It also helps to, there, we have a lot of people who have come mm. on board as staff yes. over the years. Mm -hmm. You know, when I joined uh, Compassion 16 years ago, yes. so I've been part of the 40, I've been part of the 16 years journey. 16. Mm. Um, there are many people who have joined, uh, who joined with me and uh, who joined after. Yes. As uh, staff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and some have come when we have a building, we, you know, Compassion has a property, we, mm. have, we have a building, we have, things are looking, you know, it's a much more mature organization. Mm. And they may just take it like it's a job yeah. they're doing. Mm. They may forget what is the essence. Yeah. What is the essence? What, what is the core purpose of the organization? Exactly. Um, so it's a, it's a time to also refresh mm. and re-envision. Mm -hmm. And you know, it say, it say that vision leaks. Mm. So part of what we are doing is to re-envision yeah. our people, mm. our staff, mm. and ourselves. Mm -hmm. And refresh ourselves. Mm. Because also with time, people there can be a lot of rubble yeah. and a lot of things that come, mm. a crowd, the vision. Yes. So what we are basically doing is also clarifying vision mm. and uh, refreshing on our core purpose. Yeah. Um, so that then we align all of us, mm. all of us, mm. and 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 really be and focus ourselves mm. and revitalize our energies and yeah. focus on on the mission. Yeah. So if, if we don't take time to look back at where you're coming from, mm. you're bound to make similar mistakes yes. or really go off course of, mm. of the mission mission drift mm. so so that's those that's really the essence of what we okay. you know we mm. want to make sure we don't have mission drift mm. we are teaching uh, the newer generation mm. of staff who have come yes uh, where we have come from mm -hmm. and some of the you know the challenges we've faced yes the the essence mm. the high points mm. uh, so then we are learning we learn from mm. from our past yes and then that become like a launching pad mm. for the next for the next uh, season. Okay. So so that's that's really the essence of mm. what we what, what Why we're we doing. celebrating. So yeah. um, um, uh, uh, you you you've mentioned about some of the milestone. Yeah. Um, probably you can in a summarized way the key key you know milestone or key 
things that you know come into your mind in the journey like the 16 years you've been with compassion yeah. you know in terms of maybe uh, key in terms of infra a school probably that has been built and is transforming the community you know any any key you know that you can mention i know there are many but you can just in a summary just touch on a, a few milestones yeah they are wow so i, I could break them into um, organizational capacity issues okay. they're, they're because you know you have to build the capacity of the organization mm. itself mm. to be able to deliver on the mandate and to be able to be much more effective yes. at um, delivering on the core purpose mm. so some of the things that uh, we've been able to, uh, that have happened over the, the 16 years I've been there yes like uh, for instance we didn't have a curriculum mm -hmm. um, so we we actually build a curriculum yes. as compassion mm. um, that then is being used uh, uh, as a resource mm. to have a much more systematic way. Okay, uh, it's not perfect, mm. um, but it's, it's it it wasn't there. Mm. Uh, there, are especially things we can. It's a very good resource. Mm. Sometimes it has not been implemented well, mm. uh, but then we can fix the issues of implementation. But nonetheless, yes. we have the curriculum in place, mm -hmm. which was so a lot of effort mm. to build um, a curriculum yes. uh, to guide the uh, holistic development of children and youth. Yes. Um, the other highlights I could say is um, growth. Yes. There has been a lot of growth, mm -hmm. uh, and that growth is being able to uh, reach out to more, um, a lot more Mm. Of, of, uh, children and youth. Yes. And uh, because I'm talking about organizational capacity, mm. that growth is in terms of uh, staff. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot more staff. Mm. Um, <laughs> when What's I came, I think uh, mm. we were like 30 something. Mm. You know, today we have 110 staff wow. in this place. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we, we didn't have. Uh, we didn't have, uh, we had a lot of tools that mm. we were using. Yes. We had a tool that was being used that time, we're mm. calling it Compass, which mm -hmm. was uh, an access-based uh, database mm. that was only really handling issues of um, supporter beneficiary, uh, you know, supporter and beneficiary information. Mm. But, you know, so over the years, um, the organization has invested in, um, uh, you know, cloud-based uh, core process systems. Mm. We now call it Compassion Connect that mm. is actually even being used mm. by um, f all the way from the GPS, mm. uh, that, that's our, you know, the supporting global. countries, yeah. to um, the, the, the front-run church partners. Yes. So that's, that has been very helpful. Of course, mm. the organization has also has invested in other, you know, um, admin mm. uh, cloud-based systems for yeah. finance, for HR. Mm -hmm. um, the office where we are today, mm. you know, when I came 16 years ago, we were in Kindaruma, we were renting, mm. um, and it was a house that was converted into into an, an office, office. Yeah. you know so obviously it wasn't uh, an optimal working mm. space mm. so this uh, we, w w the organization bought this property oh. uh, where we are in, mm. in current three acres mm. and built a you know an office that is really designed for our use mm. so that then we have the right facilities that we need mm. uh, including meeting places uh, training rooms and mm. things like that yes. so that has uh, been very good for capacity development of the organization we have you know we have other equipment mm. like when I came mm. it was only a few people had uh, like uh, you know laptop computers mm -hmm. you know we would some of them would some people would even be sharing desktop computers mm. so these days you know people take it for granted that uh, you know we have you know, we have has tools computer, for work yeah. you know vehicles mm. we, we infrastructure like uh, internet mm. you know much more bandwidth of course part of it has to be do with uh, also d development in the organization yes now we have fiber optics and things like that yeah. we didn't have them then mm. because our business is really dependent on uh, uh, on having some of these, uh, you know, so that has mm. been an aspect about the capacity building of the organization. Of the organization, uh, yeah. and of course, many other things in terms of training staff and, mm. and, and uh, you know, managerial capacities and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm. Uh, looking at um, issues of the ministry itself, yes, um, one of the highlights I would say is that there has been tremendous growth. Mm. You know, um, over the 16 years I've been here, yes, we've at least doubled mm. uh, in terms of the the number of. Um, babies, uh, children, and young people mm. that we are ministering to, yes, um, including something like sixty-four thousand alumni mm -hmm. of, the, of the program. Yes, uh, so that's that, that. That would I would say has been the biggest highlight. Mm. Obviously, we when I think when I came like sixteen years ago, we mm. had like just just under a hundred 
um, partnerships. Mm. Today we have 453 partnerships. Wow. That's like four times mm. uh, the number of partnerships. Mm. And the, the, the idea is not just a number. Mm. But when you think about um, those are, you know, uh, double the number of more families, mm. more children that have been given opportunities to, uh, to, for their lives to take a different trajectory. Yes. That's, you know, that's, that's, imagine the power of one yeah. one individual mm. who, who has been changed mm. has a potential you know to, to change so to many change. people yeah, exactly. uh, in their family mm. in their in the in the, in the succeeding generations mm. and all that so the, the the story of the impact is uh, can be very very tremendous wow. obviously there have been some key things we have done mm. like i remember when i came in um, just as i came in i was deeply involved in one of um, a major project we did. It was major that time mm. because we built a school, mm. uh, a girls' school from scratch in a place called Najire. Wow! And today is, you know, it's it's, it's a school that is well funded by government mm. and all that, mm. it's, and it's it has teachers and all that. Mm. A lot of people can take it for granted now, mm. but a lot of girls have been able to go through that mm. uh, from Masan and who would not have had an opportunity to go to school because there was no school anywhere nearby. Yeah. yeah. So and many many other mm. uh, things that uh, we could talk about. Wow. Yeah. So. Um, what are some of the activities uh, planned for this celebration now, maybe moving forward? Or what are some that have happened, uh, you know, uh, as part of celebrating, you know, yeah. what God has done? Yeah, so part of it has been, uh, we, we, we've been getting different um, people, mm. form, mostly former leaders. Yes. Today, as I stand before you, um, alumni, mm. um, you know, our partners, mm. you know, um, children of government workers mm. who have been uh, who have been in the journey for longer yes uh, so that they can tell us how it was then mm -hmm. what they experienced and all that 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 has been a very important uh, and we've done that very frequently mm. mostly for staff yes and and also documenting that for purposes of future generations mm. people who may come after us and they they'll be able to find a di digitized uh, yeah. history yeah and that's also a very good repository for mm. for for, uh, yeah. for purposes of organizational learning for mm. for the future yeah um, the we are coming up with a campaign actually it has started mm. um, where we intend to plant a, mil a million trees one million trees. one million trees mm. so it's a it's it's a tall order mm. uh, actually we revised it from four million mm. we were thinking of four million but then we we thought okay let's uh, let's 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 be a little more realistic yeah uh, mm. Not that one million is very realistic. It's, mm. it's still a very high it's goal. Huge. Yeah, it's a high goal. Mm. But why trees? Um, mm. I, I, like the the office where we are in. Mm. When we came in to break the, uh, you know, to to do the dedication, mm. we planted some trees. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember the tree I planted every time I, I go, you know, I'm driving out or coming in, mm. it's I see it mm -hmm. and it's growing and you know, so it, it, it reminds you. Mm. It's like. It's like an emblem. Yeah. Um, it's symbolic. Yes. It tells you, oh, this is where we are, this is where this we'll well. be. Mm. So the trees that will be planted at about this time, mm. you know, in future, they, they'll be a constant reminder of where we've been. Yeah. That's, that's one. Mm. The other thing, of course, is um, we, we are obviously in the days of uh, climate change. Yes. And... Um, replenishing our environment mm. is very very critical mm. uh, even in terms of fighting poverty mm. uh, because uh, we need we need clean air mm. we need uh, a greener environment yeah um, uh, you know we need to replenish our nation mm. and, and we need it to replenish the, the environment because yes. over the years there has been a lot of degradation of the environment we haven't done as a people we haven't done you mm. know as a people across the world we haven't done a very good job at uh, stewardship uh, yeah. of the environment, the environment and that's our mandate mm. so again reminding people of such things mm. it's good also especially when people plant things like fruit trees mm. uh, you know they also have an economic value yes uh, they have a aesthetic value they have um, environmental and health value. Mm. So it's, it's, in a sense, trees is, is a way of saying we, we are refreshing and renewing life. Yes. Which is the essence of what we do. Mm. Um, it's, it's really Compassion International and, and our cause. Mm. is really about, about um, refreshing life. It's yes. about, it's about uh, life, mm. uh, you know, <laughs> creating life. Yeah. Uh, or rather, rather supporting and, you know, and um, nurturing life. Mm. Really. Yeah. So, uh, but, I, but but what we are saying is, it's not just trees growing, mm. uh, no, planting trees, mm. but actually nurturing the nurturing trees. Nurturing the trees. So again, it's it's the value of nature. Yeah, it's the value of nature, mm. which is really the same thing that the same principles and the same values that we need to have mm. for nurturing people's lives. Exactly. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. So I know that there is another event, there yeah. is a major event that will happen uh, in uh, around May, yeah. just to culminate the, the, the celebration. That's true. Um, let's talk a bit about, as we come to a conclusion about the strategy, now that we are talking about 40 years and all that has happened, yeah. there is another phase that is coming. Mm. So what, where, what, what, what do you envision, what, what, what are, where are we headed, you know, as you lead us, as, a, as you lead Compassion, where do you want us to, to, to go in the next phase? Yeah. yeah. So, so we've been doing a process mm. uh, and... Uh, we we were asking ourselves, mm. and, and, and a lot of people are involved. Mm. Um, you know, different staff and and external people. Yeah, uh, informing um, and asking ourselves, what what is it as compassion Kenya? What really uh, is our core? Mm. What is our essence? Yeah. What, what's our purpose? Mm -hmm. um, and we've 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 come up with uh, you know an overall program strategy, mm. and in that is is very simple. Mm. So it's it's really saying that. Um, we we have defined in terms of what are the focus you know enduring customer groups mm. or neighbors yes and we've come up with three mm -hmm. uh, is a church mm. and there are certain you know key objectives and key things we want to see with the church mm. local resource mobilization yeah. ownership mm. of the ministry mm. um, and capacity, yeah, uh, you know, leadership and other capacities, mm. so that because they are really the one delivering on the rest of the mandate, yeah. Um, then focusing on the family, mm. the family is really the crucible. Yeah. It's really the, the real the child family. development center. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and if the family is broken, mm -hmm. if the family is not working well, yeah, even the children growing in an environment of brokenness. Mm. Uh, will really be inhabit inhibited yeah. no matter what other inputs you're, you're doing. Mm. So it's very important that we, uh, as we work with our partner, the church, yeah. to really invest in the family. Mm -hmm. Issues of, um, you know, issues of parenting. Yes. Uh, issues of uh, food security and livelihoods. Mm. Improving the, you know, the, the, sec the, the you know, the, the, the social, psychosocial situation of the home. Yes. So that then it's a nurturing environment. Mm. It's a safe environment. Yeah. Uh, it's not an abusive environment. Mm. It's a supportive environment. Mm. So, th so that those uh, that that's that's really important. Yeah. And of course, we are doing all these. Mm. The, the third and and the really the core of the the focus mm. is uh, ch uh, children the, the and child, youth. Yeah. Um, so so that they can, w you know really be nurtured mm. to really come to their fruition, mm. to, to full fruition. Yeah. And uh, so if they are mangoes, if they are made to be mangoes, mm. we don't try to make them oranges. Mm -hmm. It's really to a discovery journey mm. and helping thrive in who they are. Yes. Uh, if they are made to be fish, mm. then we don't try to make them climb trees like monkeys, yes. but actually get them to swim mm. and really be who they really are. Yeah. So it's a, it's, a, it's a journey of helping young people to mm. discover themselves, mm. overcome the inhibition of poverty and other inhibitions, yes. and really go on their journey mm. to really be who God intended God them to intended. be. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, one thing I've, 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 uh, in the course of interviewing a number of people, and especially pastors and PDs and, and even children, yeah. there is the aspect of they keep on talking, compassion has done this, yeah. compassion has done this, and compassion has done this. And sometimes when people talk about that, you may start feeling self-gratification and, and seeing like, uh, you know, you have really achieved how do you handle or how, even to the, the, the team in, at Compassion, how do we handle in such a situation so that uh, we don't like feel it is us and it is us uh, uh, and just making sure that even the church owns that as their success. How do you do, how do, you do that? Yeah, it, it, we have to, that, when I hear that, yes. I, I don't take it as a compliment mm. or something to really be proud about. Okay, okay. Because... It, it may b I take it as an excess, mm. uh, like as I'd said earlier about um, when you work with people, mm. especially if you are you are seen to have an a po you're, you're seen to have certain advantages or power, like, mm. like resources, yes. money, and things like that. Mm. Then uh, you are likely to create dependency mm. and like likely to disempower people. Yes. So one of the thing you, that I take that as feedback mm. to know that I think we have created some unintended things. Mm -hmm. And that's one of them. Yeah. So you have to really look into ourselves and say, 
what is it that we are doing yes. that is creating that which mm. is not desirable mm. and um, so it's it's something we have to it's not i, I it's not them mm. it's, it's us yes so one of the thing we constantly have to do mm. is to uh, bring up the value of other people and mm. to tell a balanced story mm. we have to really concentrate it's it's very easy to default on on taking the credit and the glory yes but that's dishonest yeah so we have to the truth is mm. it there has been very many hands on deck yes and we we shouldn't crowd out everyone else and take the glory and the credit mm. Actually it's God's work. Yeah. Really, Ultimately, really, it's God's work. Really. And it, God has invited us yes. to be part of it. Mm. So if we take the credit, mm. we we take the glory of God. Yes. And and that's pride. Mm. If we take the entire credit, mm. we'd actually disempower other people. So one of the thing we have to constantly do mm. is to actually um see ourselves a, you know a, in a in a sober way. Yes. And know and tell a balanced story mm. and be able to s- to to uh, to actually say yes this has happened one it's god's work mm. and god is the one that's done it uh, ultimately yeah two we are a contributor mm. there has been many many other contributors yes. to the story of success mm. you know my father in law like to tell me mm. uh, he told me and he like to say mm. and i like that quote mm. that success has many f- fathers. Yes. But failure is an orphan. Mm. So whenever there is success, mm. many people claim. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Depending on who is telling the story. Yes. But if there is failure, mm. why is it for sure mm. th- some of the things we do yes. don't necessarily result in success? Mhm. And we have to acknowledge that. Yeah. They result in failure. Mm. Why are we not as loud mm. and as eager mm. to point and say, hey, mm. uh, we did this, this, we failed in this, yeah. you know? Yeah. So we yeah. have to be, tell a balanced story. Mm. And the truth is, mm. we, we make a contribution. Yes. But there are many other people that makes a contribution. Mm. You know, the, even the people we are trying to help, yes. or we seek to help, mm. the, the, there is what we call the youth agency. Mm. If someone want to help anyone mm. and the person who is being helped doesn't want to be helped yes. you can't help them you can't like they say you can take a an animal mm. or, you know a cow to the river mm. but you can't but you force it force to drink yeah you see so mm. they take some credit mm. i mean because they it's their lives yeah. and um, if they don't take initiative mm. you can't succeed yeah. you no know, there cannot be success mm. they are the parents and mm. the caregivers yes. there's a you know the immediate family there's mm. a church mm. there's a school there's a yeah. teacher there's yeah. there's you know there is a, the contribution of the supporter. There is mm. a contribution of you know the government, and mm. there is a contribution of you know um, the, uh, compassion. Yeah. But ultimately, mm. you know, like uh, what scripture say, mm. we can uh, prepare horses for battle. Yeah. But the victory comes from the Lord. Mm. We can do all these things. Yeah. We can plant. We can uh, create the right condition. Mm. But you cannot make the seed grow. Mm. So growth and increase comes from God. Mm. So I, I think it's it's very important that you tell a balanced story and right. you be sober mm. about our contribution in the success of people. Right. Yeah. Finally, uh, I know that you are an avid reader. You <laughs> like reading uh, a lot. Uh, besides reading, what else uh, do you? Uh, first, what book are you reading currently? So I, I'm reading uh, a book called uh, African Christian Ethics. Mm. It's a it's a big book. Okay. Currently, I have um, a lot of fascination and uh, interest in theology. Mm. I, I wouldn't say uh, well. It's not so much reading. Mm. I do read quite a bit. Yeah. <coughs> but the bigger issue is learning. Okay. Um, I, I I I view and I think of myself as a lifelong learner. Mm. Um, so I, I learn from you know digital things yes. like you know. Um, digital content mm. books and mm-hmm. different things yeah. i learn from people mm. you know talking with people you know sitting with people who've been there and done that and yes, all that yes. so it's so that's a bigger story mm. it's, it's learning mm. um, because learning when you learn you grow yeah when you stop learning mm. you you, you begin growing. to you know to, re- to to progress yeah so it's a question of continuous learning mm. and renew and refreshment because wow. the, the world is a very dynamic place mm. so if you don't learn mm. they say that um, Tomorrow belongs to the learners of today. Yeah. So I, I like to stay hungry mm. and learning. Yeah. And not think that I have I know it all or you know, but keep learning. Mm. Have I, I like what I I call a beginner's mindset. Yes. So that's 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 a posture I like to mm. take. Mm. That I I even though I may think I know. Mm. Yeah. And I actually they say that um, the more you know, mm. the more you you know you don't know. Yes. Yeah. So I that's that's. 
that's, that's a reality. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So besides reading uh, uh, some mm. of the things that you do, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, so I I I, uh, I play sport. Mm. Um, I have played all manner of sports, mm. whatever sports is available. Yes, I like to learn it. Mm. Um, and these days, you know, like currently, I'm I'm playing quite a bit of table tennis. Yeah. I actually learned it from YouTube. Mm. I went there and learned, you know, I got tutorials and mm. just know how to do it. Yes. And then you practice it. Mm. Um, you know, I've learned things like shooting posts. I've learned all manner of, mm. I think I've played any sports I've found. Tennis, yeah. lawn, you know, what you call lawn tennis, mm. all manner of games, swimming, whatever, cycling. Okay. Yeah. What I don't like is to watch sport. Mm. <laughs> but oh, like sitting to down to, to watch. Yeah, uh, I like to do it. Uh, uh, not to be the spectator. <laughs> so you don't have a team, uh, you can say. Uh, you know, I, I know there is this thing of the... I always get very fascinated and I've never quite understood uh, the Kenyan fascination, <laughs> with especially in English, English football. English football, yes. I actually don't watch... And I, I get very curious to hear people saying, you know, my new our team and all that, and I'm yeah, thinking, yeah, your team? Really, <laughs> and yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, yeah. yeah, so I, I like to do sports, really to, you mm. know, uh, and the bigger story is wellness. Mm. It's, um, that's really the, yeah. the bigger story. Mm. So it's not just sports, but mm. wellness. Yeah. Um, so, because you can't be effective at what you do in life yeah. unless you are f well, mm. you know, uh, in terms of in the mind, health, mm. physical wellness, mm. you know, all, you know, relational, yeah. financial, all mm. those. So it's the, the bigger story is wellness. Mm. Um, yeah. When did you last watch uh, a t uh, Kenyan TV program? <laughs> I don't watch any. Yeah. So actually, um, in December, yeah. uh, there was something very, very interesting. Yeah. I, I met a gentleman called, I think he's called Bundi. Bundi, yes. So I, I during the talents yes. uh, event at yeah. Kenyatta University, yes. so I, I come and I'm told he's a guest, so I sat with him. Yeah. So I'm asking him, uh, so um, I'm Joel, so yeah. who are you? Yeah. Um, so then he tells me his name. Yeah. And I, I don't know, I've you never heard of you. You are not about to dress. So <laughs> 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 then when he, when he stood, you know, and I got, you know, I was, I was being told he's such a big, he's, he's such a, a well-known yes. household name. Yes. So, <laughs> so I, it was a bit embarrassing. So, yeah. So when he stood and yeah. like almost the, the the whole place was rapturous. Yes. You know, everyone was was, uh, was on their feet and saying, "Ah, oh my God, this yeah. guy is here!" And I'm thinking, <laughs> I don't Who know him. Guy? Who is this guy? Yeah. So I'm told there's a program called Malia. Yeah. Uh, is it Malia or Maria? Maria. I don't know. So uh, uh, I, I don't know. I I, I don't know what. Uh, you don't, I don't know. But you watch movie. Of. You watch movies once in a while. Once yeah. in a while. Once in a while, uh, I, I do watch. Which uh, genre do you like? Um, investigative, uh, investigative, mm. um, kind of a big. I, I like epics. Mm, uh, okay. I, I watch quite a bit of those very old, uh, like those old Roman time mm. movies when they were fighting with swords and yeah. things like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. They call it skin in the game when mm. you are, when 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 the king is leading the troops to war. Yes. It's not like today where <laughs> they sit very far and people yeah. are fighting with bombs and yes. uh, smart things. Mm. Yeah. Great, I think that is uh, that has been a great uh, session just to s learn what Compassion is doing. Uh, wishing you the very best even as you uh, lead Compassion to the next level. And um, thank you so much again for, for giving us an opportunity. It's my pleasure. That, was, you. A, that was a great time thank to you. have you. Uh, unless there is uh, anything you would want to say, maybe like a parting shot and we will call it a uh, uh, a day. <laughs> yes. uh, so it's uh, it's been forty years. Mm. Um, forty years. I, I like the story of the ego. Mm. Uh, forty years is a time when you know they they have grown old. Their talons, their beak, their feathers. Mm. They are not flying very well, uh, and they they have to do what is called renewal. Mm. And the same story is told in the book of. Isaiah, that uh, those who trust the Lord are like the ego. They mm. will renew um, their strength like the ego. And mm. what the ego actually does, um, it goes in their f around their 40th year. They go to the mountains. They do a very painful work of renewal. Mm. So they have to pluck out uh, their, their talons. They have to pluck out their beaks. They have to pluck out their feathers. And then wait 
in lean terms mm. to actually grow back their, their feathers, to grow back their talons, and to grow back uh, their beaks. Mm. And then the ego takes what is famously known as the flight of renewal or renewal flight. Mm. So that's, that's, that's what I think of compassion at this time. We are 40 years in compassion Kenya. Mm. Um, so let's, let's take time to reflect and renew and then uh, be able to take a new, um, um, to, to soar much higher in a new, in a fresh way. Um, so that again, our, you know, our essence, our hunting instinct, um, in terms of hunting for the essence comes back and uh, we are able to really so up, so high up and really um, take high ground and, and, and go for that which God has asked us to go for. And I really hope that uh, we we'll renew and, um, and, and then take on the world one more time. Thank you. God bless. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank thank you, you and all the best. <laughs>